to express my gratitude to Professor So for giving me the opportunity to have a talk in this workshop. The title of my talk is Real Hypersurfaces in a Complex Space Form and the Generalized Tanaka Webster Connection. This is the table of contents. First, I introduce some definitions and basic formulas for real hypersurfaces in a complex space form. Next, I introduce the generalized Tanaka Webster connection and the related problem. The second part is the main part of my talk. Finally, I'll give you information about the problem with respect to homomorphic distribution on a real hypersurface of a complex space form. We consider some problems for hmm, shape operator, bit tensor, sectional curvature with respect to the homomorphic distribution on the hypersurface. First, let me prepare some definitions and basic formulas. Let M and C the complex space form of complex dimension small n and of holomorphic sectional curvature small c. Complex space form is a Keralian manifold of constant holomorphic sectional curvature. And for C, the homomorphic sectional curvature, J, the complex structure of the complex space form. Let M be a real hypersurface in the complex space form, and N, the unit normal vector field. Then, we can consider almost contact metric structure on the real hypersurface M. Let what x be the tangent vector, taking a tangential part of jx, we have phi x, and the taking the normal part, we have eta x n, and the structure vector field guzi is defined to be minus j n. This phi is one one tensor and this eta is one form, and this guzi is a tangent vector. Tangent vector field. And small z is the induced connection. Then these four items satisfy this property. Then we can construct an almost contact metric structure phi, guzi, eta, z, on m. Next, we give you a definition of shape operator. This nabla tilde is a differentiation in the ambient manifold, complex space form. Differentiating the tangent vector field y by tangent vector field x, in the ambient space and taking a tangential part and normal part. This number is an induced connection. And we call this 1 1 tensor large A the shape operator. Since M is a real hypersurface, A satisfies this equation. These two equations are called Gauss and Weingarten formulas. And if the shape operator A satisfies this property, that is, there exists a function alpha such that A z is equal to alpha z, this condition means the structure vector field z is a principal curvature vector field. Then the real hypersurface M is called hop hypersurface. This is a very important class to consider real hypersurface in a complex space form. 
Next, we denote by large R the Riemannian coverture tensor field of M. This R satisfies the following equation, the equation of Gauss. R, X, Y, Z can be represented using the shape of operator A and phi and small z. Taking the trace, we can represent the rich tensor of M by this equation. Using trace A, shape operator A. And to prove our theorems, we use the equation of Kodachi. Nabla x a y minus nabla y a x satisfies this equation. These are the basic formulas when we consider some problems for a real hypersurface. Next, I introduce some conditions for real hypersurface. First, M is called totally umbilic if the shape operator A satisfies that AX is equal to for some function A, AX. X is a tangent vector. However, it is known that there are no real hypersurface which satisfies totally umbilical condition in a complex space form. So instead, we can consider the following condition, totally eta umbilic. If the shape operator A satisfies, AX is equal to small AX plus small B Z X Z Z Z Z then M is called totally eta umbilic. This condition contains previous condition. Similarly, for the rich tensor, M is called Einstein if the rich tensor satisfies this condition. <coughs> However, it is also proved that there are no Einstein real hypersurface in a complex space form. So, we can consider, for example, should Einstein condition that contains this condition. For some function small a and b, the rich tensor satisfies this equation. So our problem is, are there any other useful condition, useful or interesting means contains fruitful good example and or are there any other useful connection? We often use induced connection when we consider real hypersurface. But in this talk, we consider another condition, uh, another connection called the generalized Tanaka Webster connection. In section two, I give an introduction of that connection. And in section three, we consider other condition. Finally, mm, finally, mm, I give an, in, I will introduce some examples of real hypersurfaces. Let S to N plus 1 be the unit sphere of dimension 2N plus 1 and phi the natural projection S to N plus 1 to CPN and M0 dash to N T is defined to be a real hypersurface of a unit sphere defined by this equation. And taking a projection, we have a real hypersurface in a complex projective space, M0 to N minus 1 T. 
we call this hypersurface geodesic hypersphere because this is a tube over one point. And we also call this hypersurface type A1. This real hypersurface is a compact, totally eternal real hypersurface in a complex projective space. And it has at most two distinct constant principal curvatures. Principal curvatures are cotangent theta and two times cotangent to theta. This theta is a radius of a tube and satisfy t is equal to cotangent square of the cotangent theta. And this is an example of hop hypersurface. Because a guzi is equal to two times cotangent to theta guzi. Next example. Type A2 real hypersurface. We consider Clifford hypersurface. M dash to N M T. Real hypersurface in the unit sphere. And taking a projection, we have real hypersurface in a complex projective space. This is a tube of radius theta over a totally geodesic complex projective space, Cp small p. This real hypersurface is also a hop hypersurface. And it has at most three distinct principal curvatures, cotangent theta, minus tangent theta, and two cotangent to theta. We remark that this kind of real hypersurface is should Einstein if and only if this integer t is equal to this value. Next type is called type B real hypersurface. We define M dash to N T the unit the real hypersurface in the unit sphere by this condition. And taking a projection, we have a real hypersurface in the complex space, projective space. And this is a tube of radius theta over complex quadric Q n minus one. This has also at most three distinct constant principal curvatures cotangent theta minus pi over 4, minus tangent theta minus pi over 4, to cotangent to theta. And this is also hop hypersurface. These kinds of hypersurface tends to be should Einstein if and only if this integer small t satisfies t is equal to 1 over n minus 1. There is a classification theorem for totally eta umbilical real hypersurface. Let m be a totally eta umbilical real hypersurface of a complex projective space. And the complex dimension is greater than or equal to 2. Then M is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere, type A1. And there is a classification theorem for a should Einstein real hypersurface. Let M be a connected complete should Einstein real hypersurface of CPN. N is greater than or equal to 3. Then M is congruent to one of the following. And recently, use classification theorems when N is equal to 3 has been proved by C cell. Next example. This example is a real hypersurface in a complex hyperbolic space. Let H1 to N plus 1 is a hyperbolic space 
defined by this. And taking a natural projection. Let M dash PQT be uh, it is defined by this condition. And taking a projection, we have a tube of radius theta over complex hyperbolic space. We remark that if this integer p is equal to zero, the real hypersurface tends to be a geodesic hypersphere. This example has at most three distinct constant principal curvature, and this one is also hop hypersurface. Final example, holosphere. Let LT is a real hypersurface in a hyperbolic space and taking a projection. We have examples of totally eta umbilical real hypersurface of complex hyperbolic space. And it has at most, uh, it has two distinct constant principal curvatures, one and two. We call this real hypersurface holosphere. This is a classification theorem for real hypersurface in a complex hyperbolic space, proved by Professor Montiel. Let M be a totally eta umbilical real hypersurface of complex hyperbolic space whose dimension is greater than or equal to 3. Then M is locally congruent to one of the following. A geodesic hypersphere, this one, or a holosphere. We remark that a connected complete real hypersurface in a complex hyperbolic space is pseudo-Einstein if and only if M is totally eta umbilic under the condition that the complex dimension N is greater than or equal to 3. Next section, the generalized Tanaka Webster connection. Originally, Tanaka Webster connection is a unique affine connection for non-degenerate should Hamishan CR manifold given by Professor Tanaka and Professor Webster, respectively. And as one generalization, Professor Tanno considered a generalized Tanaka Webster connection for a contact metric manifold, which is defined by this equation. This Nabura hat is a generalized Tanaka Webster connection for a contact metric manifold. Nabura hat XY is defined to be Nabura XY plus Nabura X eta Y Z minus eta Y Nabura X Z minus eta X phi Y. And Professor Cho gave a definition of generalized Tanaka Webster connection for a real hypersurface of a Keralian manifold. This is the generalized Tanaka Webster connection for a real hypersurface of a Keralian manifold. And this number small k is a non zero real number. We can choose any number. We note that if the shape operator A satisfies phi A plus A phi is equal to 2K phi, then the generalized Tanaka Webster connection coincides with original Tanaka Webster connection. This generalized Tanaka Webster connection has very good property. Good means this property. These are Almost contact metric structure, phi, z, eta, z. 
they are all parallel with respect to the generalized Tanaka Webster connection. We remark that for ordinary mm, induced connection, Guzi and Phi is not parallel with respect to the induced connection because Nabla X Guzi is equal to Phi AX, Nabla X Phi Y is equal to this equation. In this section, we consider some conditions for this curvature tensor field with respect to the generalized Tanaka Webster connection and the rich tensor with respect to the generalized Tanaka Webster connection. This is our problem. We want to study the shape operator A, the rich tensor S hat the sectional curvature K hat over hypersurface of a complex projective space with respect to some conditions for a generalized Tanaka Webster connection. This is an early result given by Professor Cho. published in Hokkaido Mathematical Journal. Let M and C the complex space form and for C the homomorphic sectional curvature and M the real hypersurface and hop hypersurface of a complex space form. We suppose this small C is not equal to zero. If the Curvature tensor field with respect to the generalized Tanaka Webster connection R hat vanishes identically. Then M is locally congruent to A or B. A holosphere in a complex hyperbolic space, or this case is a homogeneous tube over Q1 and RP2. Uh, I'm sorry, this is mistake. In CP2 or CH2. And this is the result for the rich tensor. Let M be a hop hypersurface and if the rich tensor with respect to our connection satisfies this condition where large L is very form, then M is locally congruent to one of the following a holosphere, a geodesic hypersphere, a homogeneous tube or a homogeneous tube over Q1 and RP2. Motivated by these theorems, we considered the next condition. Let M be a real hypersurface of complex projective space. We don't have to assume that M is hop hypersurface. If the rich tensor S hat satisfies this condition, where lambda is some function and x is perpendicular to Z, <coughs> then M is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere. But in this case, we need a condition for the small k or a tube over totally geodesic CP small p. First, I wanted to consider the condition like Einstein, but, ah, I'm sorry. 
we can't consider the Einstein condition in this situation because if s hat xy is equal to lambda z xy for any xy then s hat turns to be zero and this condition is a bit larger than Einstein condition a weaker And when M is a real hypersurface of the CHN, if the rich tensor satisfies this condition, then the real hypersurface is locally congruent to one of the following. A geodesic hypersphere, a tube of a complex hyperbolic hyperplane, a holosphere, or a tube of a totally geodesic. This is a theorem in complex hyperbolic space. Using these theorems, we have the next corollary. If the rich curvature S vanishes identically, then M is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere with square of the k is greater than or equal to 4n n minus 1. And if m is Einstein, then s hat vanishes identically. Next corollary, we can prove there are no real hypersurface of complex projective space, which satisfies r hat is equal to zero, when n is greater than or equal to three. This result is related to the theorem 2-1 given by Professor Cho. We don't have to assume that M is hot hypersurface. In theorem 2-1, the condition hot is necessary, but we don't need this condition. But in this corollary, we need another condition, N is greater than or equal to 3. So we cannot find this example. I want to consider the case n is equal to 2. This is my next problem. Next section. In this section, we consider some conditions with respect to the holomorphic distribution on a real hypersurface. Again, I give an introduction of hop hypersurface. M is called hop hypersurface if the shape operator satisfies A guzi is equal to alpha guzi for some function alpha. And there are some many classification theorems for hop hypersurfaces of a complex space form. However, I want to study the hypersurface of a complex space form without the assumption that they are hop hypersurface. And we want to study another condition that contains hop condition. This is the definition of holomorphic distribution. Each point small x, t0x, is a set of tangent vector large x. 
which satisfies gxz is equal to zero. X is perpendicular to xz. And it is an example of hypersurface, rules real hypersurface. If this homomorphic distribution T0 is integrable, and its integral manifold is a totally geodesic submanifold, then the real hypersurface is called ruled real hypersurface. And again, these are typical conditions for a real hypersurface. We have no examples of totally umbilical real hypersurface, but we have some examples of totally eta umbilical real hypersurface and should Einstein real hypersurface. Program. We want to study the shape operator A, the rich tensor S, the sectional curvature K of a hypersurface of a complex space form with respect to some conditions for the homomorphic distribution T0. For example, this condition, the shape operator A satisfies g a x y is equal to for some function a a z x y and this x and y are perpendicular to z this condition contains totally eta umbilical condition and the rich tensor s x y is equal to a z x y well X and Y are perpendicular to the structure vector field Z. This condition contains Einstein condition and should Einstein condition. And this condition, X, Y, Z, and W is perpendicular to Z. This condition contains so-called Ryan condition. Rs is equal to zero. And we consider another condition with respect to the sectional curvature. First, the condition for the shape operator. Let M be a real hypersurface of a complex space form, and its complex dimension N is greater than or equal to 3. We study the following condition. X and Y are perpendicular to Z. The shape operator A satisfies Z A X Y is equal to A Z X Y. At, um, at any point small x in M, we can take an orthonormal basis E1, E2, N minus 2, Z such that the shape operator A can be represented as this matrix at a point small x. When the shape operator satisfies this condition, then we can represent the shape operator A as this matrix. Cf. If M is totally eta umbilic, we can represent the shape operator large A as this diagonal matrix. So we can see that this condition is weaker than totally umbilical condition. This part appear. Professor Ortega proved that if M satisfies our condition, then it is totally eta umbilical or a ruled real hypersurface. We note that totally eta umbilical real hypersurface is a hop hypersurface, and ruled real hypersurface is not a hop hypersurface. And 
as a corollary. If M is a real hypersurface of a complex projective space and satisfies our condition, then it is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere or a ruled real hypersurface. Next corollary. If M is a real hypersurface of a complex hyperbolic space, then it is one of the following. A ruled real hypersurface, a geodesic hypersphere, this one, or a holosphere. And we proved that if M is a real hypersurface of a complex space form and the curvature tensor field R and the shape operator A satisfies this condition. X, Y, Z, W is uh, perpendicular to Z. Z, R, X, Y, A, Z, W is equal to zero. If and only if M is a geodesic hypersphere or a ruled real hypersphere, hypersurface. <coughs> and as an application of this theorem, we can prove this early result given by Professor Maeda. There are no real hypersurface of a complex projective space which satisfies RA is equal to zero. <coughs> this condition is stronger than our condition. This RA is equal to zero means condition is weaker than that condition. Next, we consider the rich tensor. We proved that if M is a real hypersurface of a complex space form and the curvature tensor field and the rich tensor satisfies this condition, then M is a should Einstein real hypersurface. As an application of this theorem, we can prove the result given by Professor Kimura and Professor Maeda. There are no real hypersurface of a complex projective space which satisfies so-called Ryan condition. Rs is equal to zero. This is a related result given by Professor Ki, Professor Nakagawa, and Professor So. Let M be a real hypersurface of a complex space form. And if the rich tensor and the curvature tensor field satisfies cyclic Ryan condition, then M is a should Einstein. And next result is a proposition. Let M be a real hypersurface of a complex space form with constant principal curvatures. If S satisfies ZSXY is equal to AZXY, I'm sorry, we use this S as a one man tensor. In this talk, Thank you. We use same S. Then 
Einstein M is a sealed Einstein real hypersurface. I want to remove this condition with constant principal curvatures. Next problem mm -hmm. for the rich tensor. We want to condition, study the condition, S g z is equal to alpha g z. Hope condition is A g z is equal to alpha g z. This is our next problem. And I want to remove the condition with constant principal curvatures. Mm -hmm. Finally, we introduce the results for the sectional curvature. Let M be a real hypersurface of a complex space form. N is greater than or equal to 3. For any large x, which is perpendicular to z, and x is a unit tangent vector, the sectional curvature large k satisfies k x z is equal to small k. Then m is congruent to a or b. Hope hypersurface which satisfies a z is equal to zero or a totally inter-umbilical real hypersurface. We consider a unit vector x. And z. And taking a plane spanned by x and z. And consider sectional curvature with respect to this plane. This theorem is motivated by a theorem given by Professor Kimura. Next theorem. This is an early result given by Professor Kimura. Professor Kimura considered a sectional curvature on a homomorphic two-plane. That is, He considered a plane spanned by this x and phi x. These are both perpendicular to z. And he considered a sectional curvature on a holomorphic two-plane spanned by x and phi x. If this large h is constant, then m is one of the following. An open subset of a geodesic hypersphere, or a ruled hypersurface, or 
a real hyper surface of which there is a foliation of co dimension 2 such that each leaf of the foliation is contained in some complex projective space, CPN minus 1, as a ruled hyper surface. This case, the sectoral curvature large H is equal to 4. This is a corollary of our theorem. Let M be a real hypersurface of a complex projective space CPN. N is greater than or equal to 3. And the focal map has constant rank on M. If the sectional curvature large K satisfies this condition, For a tangent vector perpendicular to g z, k x g z is equal to some constant small k. Then m is congruent to one of the following. This part, we used a classification theorem for a hop hypersurface, which satisfies a g z is equal to zero. A homogeneous dial hypersurface which lies on a tube of radius pi over 4 over a totally geodesic complex projective space Cp small s or a non-homogeneous real hypersurface which lies on the tube of radius pi over 4 over some Carolinian submanifold large n with non-zero principal curvatures. However, I don't know the concrete example of this case, A2. And in this case, K is equal to 1. Or a geodesic hypersphere of radius theta. And this radius theta satisfies T is equal to cotangent, square of the cotangent theta. And this K sectional curvature k is equal to t. This is the final result. Let M be a real hypersurface of a complex hyperbolic space. The complex dimension is greater than or equal to 3. And the sectional curvature tensor field large k satisfies our condition, then the real hypersurface is congruent to one of the following. A. A tube of radius theta over an antihomorphic submanifold which satisfies A to Z is equal to zero. In this case, the sectional curvature small k tends to be minus one or a geodesic hypersphere of radius theta. In this case, this T and this sectional curvature small k satisfies this condition. C, a tube of radius theta over a complex hyperbolic hyperplane. This case, k is equal to small t. Finally, a photosphere. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? Comments?